For this operation, I'm going to use a uh, larger tip on my iron than I usually use. The one I normally use is a more pointed one for s small components, of course. And this is a heavier duty and will heat things up a little faster. Uh, let's see how well it does here. We'll just lay it on top of the uh, circuit here. Heat that up. And we should be able to pull that off. Yep, there it goes. Same thing on this side. I'm, you notice I'm heating the uh, the ear itself, not the board, because the board uh, is a little more fragile than that uh, big piece of a big piece of brass there. We'll just leave this solder that's on here on here because we'll use it later. And we can uh, remove whatever we can of the solder here to make it easier to uh, mill this down. All right. Now I'm going to take these over to the um, to the uh, grinder tool and uh, grind it off to about there. Um, that way uh, we'll be able to push this in as far as we can. And then I'm going to also take the, this and bring this into about here uh, with a nibbler tool. In fact, let's do that right now. I've used a, a nibbler tool here uh, to uh, to cut some cut into this board. The idea here is that these then can uh, let me straighten this out. This can now go in closer, but of course it overlaps the other side, and uh, that's not what we want. But I'm going to uh, cut off about that much of. Uh, this using, uh, if you had a, a good shear, you could probably do that, but uh, um, I, I'm just going to use a uh, grinding wheel, grind off all but uh, a little bit of this. Then, um, as you see, it, with the grinding wheel, if I do it right at the end of that hole that you can see there, it will. Uh, be sufficient to uh, still keep a gap between these two and yet uh, about the uh, ear on here. So that's that's what we're going to tr attempt to do and see if it gives us uh, what we want on, as far as getting up to 450 megahertz. I'll be back in a minute uh, with the results. Okay I've uh, taken off uh, Everything up to the other side of the hole here on this uh, antenna and this antenna. It took just a few um, few seconds on the grinding wheel, not very long at all. I'll hit it with a file here to get rid of any little edges that might still be there. I did that on the grinding wheel as well. Now, as you can see, we uh, we just make the uh, the gap here, and uh, same on this side. So we should be uh, we should be fine. I I would think. Uh, so let's solder it down. And find out what happens. First we'll use the side here as the more solder. And then let's see here. I'll use this side, it's easier. Again, I'm putting this on top of this to warm up the uh, brass and uh, not uh, 
too much on the PC board just to get the thing down. And then uh, I'll go along the end here. And we should be okay there. All right. Similar on the other side. It's going to just, I just lay it on there. Like that. Try to sort of eyeball it as far as uh, being lined up here. <laughs> I have a little kink in that just so that it can uh, sit on there properly. Again, same thing. Uh, put the iron on the on the brass here here. Sort of finesse it into place. Then take a little bit of solder to uh, make sure we got pretty good contact there. Looks like we you use a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's not even on there. Good. Huh. Interesting. Let's uh, make sure we get it uh, soldered down here properly. And run some in the front here. Okay, I've got the uh, antenna here. I'm going to put it on the... Well, we've already set this up for sweeping from uh, four, 410 to uh, uh, 4... Um, uh, to 460 and uh, we've got markers on 420, 432, 440 and 450 here at 1, 2, 3 and 4 and uh, so we'll just put this thing on here hold it up in the air out of the way Looks like everything's under 14 dB across that whole range, so it looks like we're successful with our modification. And uh, it actually is usable from uh, 410 to 460, probably even beyond that. Uh, but anyway, at least we've met, met our goal to get up to 450. So, and it shouldn't affect the other end of the uh, spectrum very much. Uh, down at the low end, so I think we'll call it a day and call it success and then we'll do our testing outdoors when the rain lets us do so.